What happened to Grenfell? That was an act of war. Our councils really love to just regenerate a place, to elevate a space, to regenerate states, to regenerate London in abundance as we speak. But have you ever wondered what these words actually mean? Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, he's, he produces hip hop music, spoken word, grime, all with a very strong, powerful uh, information based message, but also very consumable, so I love to see that. We were quite a nation with social stability. We had free education before the new tuition fees. We did things efficiently, we ran self sufficiently, we had a strong pound in a proud world of industry. We had British steel, British rail, British gas, Royal Mail, a whole coal industry before they aborted that. We had social welfare before George snorted that. It's great, it's insightful. It's, uh writing is very powerful, very intelligent, well put, and really gets to the heart, you know, um, it really registers with people. If they sell insurance, they'll start to get selective. They'll turn away the sickest because you're not a good investment. The poor who can't afford to get insurance get rejected. We die and you and I are forced to just accept it. That's what's going to happen here. It's not an empty threat. If you're not upper class or rich, then you'll be left for dead. Well, I come down to see uh, Georgie or Potent Whisper. I'm Keith Walker from Deepak. Um, what what Georgie does is just it's totally amazing. He's a talent. Buy this book. Because when they cut our funds, they cut our throats. They cut our help. They cut our hope. They cut us deep. They cut we bleed. They cut us then. They cut and go. They cut to bone. They cut our cash. They cut our necks and fed the banks. Who cut them slack? Cut them back. They cut a rope, they let us hang. It's them who cut your son's wrists. They cut short your daughter's life. They cut us every day and every way we live our little lives. They're spilling our blood. They're killing our mums. They cut us all. They started war. But if they want to cut, we'll build an army on the scars that form. He's gone deeper, broader, and in a very beautiful, poetic way that gets right to the heart. He is the most incredible poet and uh, chronicler of our times. Their names are burnt into our minds, and their screams into our hearts. The fire might be out, but a rage has been sparked. It's a rage that will blaze on every street. With every march, there would be a day of peace until justice comes to pass. Because it wasn't just Grenfell that suffered mass victims. Every single day we're seeing Grenfell killings. We're suffering corruption in the Grenfell system. This isn't Great Britain. This is Grenfell Britain. <laughs>